All right. As I covered this morning, I went live this morning, but I, that stream got blocked. But I got I got two more videos pertaining by Brittany Griner as freed and, re and released. Now, we're going to get to the, the story right here. Update. WNBA's Brittany Griner is freed. Right wingers implode. Update. Brittany Griner is uh, released after prisoner swap. Now, this video is probably about 15 minutes because I'm going to give my deep, my, how I believe as well, too. So, let's get to the video, shall we? Has been released from Russian prison. She was, in fact, a de facto prisoner of war. So, let's highlight everything that went down today. Here's the wife of Brittany Griner talking yes. about the release. I'm proud that today we had made one more family whole again. So welcome home, Brittany. And now I'd like to uh, uh, invite Sherelle to say a few words to you all. Of course, she's not excited at all about this. Sherelle, it's all yours, kiddo. Congratulations Thank again. You. That's Thank the wife you. of Brittany Ryan. Well. So over the last nine months, you all have been... Um, so privy to one of the darkest moments of my life and so today i'm just standing here um, overwhelmed with emotions but the most important emotion that i have right now is just sincere gratitude um, for president biden and his entire administration um, he just mentioned this work is not easy and it has not been there's been so many hands involved and so i'd like to take a moment to just specifically mention a few uh, vice president harris secretary blinken and yeah, and there's and there other you know other coaches and athletes had spoke about this, including Don Staley, uh, the, the WNBA commissioner, yeah, a few others as well too. A very good day, a very good day for mm -hmm. Brittany Griner, her family, her friends. A very good day for America. However, there are conservative pontificators. Commentators, oh yeah, anchors, including the former president Trump, broadcasters said who cannot stand. Oh yeah, and and, and President Trump was uh, tweeting about this or something like that, and say, how do you say? He say, how does America give up an arms dealer Victor Boot for Brittany Griner? They're probably like, oh, but what about uh, what about Paul Bailey? Then they were talking, and he said, oh, so he said, oh, them doing this, and this is a disgrace, America. Yeah, and and the right wing is the you know the right wingers the the people that are pro Trump mega people as well uh, they're they're screaming you know this is messed up uh, and, they, and keep in mind as well Adrian these are the same mfers that were saying uh, oh the election was rigged stop the steal they were, and they were saying ones that riot the Capitol right uh, at uh, the Capitol that are trying to enter into the Capitol as well that led to the ultimate demise and death of Ashley Babbitt. That this American citizen has been released from Russia. Before I get into that, WNBA star Brittany Griner has been released from Russian detention. President Joe oh, Biden really? said Thursday, really? Griner was released in a prisoner swap that involved Russian arms dealer Victor Bout. The exchange, however, did not include another American that the State Department has declared wrongfully detained as well. That is Paul Whelan. She's safe. She's on a plane. She's on her way home, Biden said at the White House this morning, alongside Reiner's wife. After months of being unjustly detained in Russia, held under intolerable circumstances, Brittany will soon be back in the arms of her loved ones where she should have been all along. Yep. Now let's go to the right wing pundits. Are they celebrating the release of an American citizen? Here it is. That is what's going to specifically raise eyebrows. Yeah. That Brittany Griner, after less than a year being held in Russia, is coming home. Paul Whelan, after many years in Russian custody, remaining in Russia. Yeah, his family's going to be fired up, and rightly so. Absolutely. Uh, and the idea, Karen, that uh, we're going to get this WNBA wait a uh, minute. clown who didn't stand for the You knew what the laws were in that country, and you chose to smuggle in marijuana in your... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's stop that for a, uh, for a minute. Let's back it up. Back the beat won't be up for a second. She's talking about oh Brittany Griner oh went to another country broke the law, you know what the, you know what the, her her charge was. 
she had a non-violent crime. Cannabis. Medical cannabis. I mean, you over here, it's like hardly anything. You get drug dealers, rapists, child molesters, people that, conv that are convicted of vehicular manslaughter or so, who get fucking less water time. If I recall rightly, Brittany Griner was convicted in a Russian court of law and convicted for nine years. Nine years for cannabis. A non-violent crime. Like I said, you get fucking chummels out there. You get people that commit assault after, like, the, like, like, the coon and Dinkus. Then you get rapists like that, Melvin Stankster, who got fucking two, oh, just over two years for raping four children out there. Pedo Mouse, five years. Robert West, six years for raping two children. And Brittany Goddard got nine years, yeah, for non-violent crime, cannabis, medical cannabis. And they're talking about, oh, 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 oh. no, 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 it, it's like that. Bag and we are trading an arms dealer for Convicted you. Arms. Yeah, but here's the thing about Victor Boo as well. He has a litany, litany of serious charges that it's the demise of tens and not thousands of deaths as well. Stealer. Mm -hmm. What? You know, did, did Brittany Gordon ever kill anybody this year or was all somebody or did anything violent in nature? No. Come on. What yeah. is happening? This is the kind of thing that's going to raise a lot of eyebrows. They're going to celebrate her, right? Yeah, they're they're going to celebrate, celebrate her. They're going to make her some American hero. You know, they're going to turn her into, she's going to get the front page in Vanity Fair, and she's going to get all dressed up, and she's going to be on the cover of Vogue. Mark my words, that's what's going to happen. And every newspaper is going to make her sound like some sort of a martyr. Karen's right. People are saying <laughs> that the priorities are all mixed up. I want to add in Tennessee Cowgirl, who's saying they need to release all the J6ers. Uh -huh. uh, think about the priorities of this administration and how far they're off. But you brought us... So it's really me. sad. Like, you think about all of these people, these Americans that are is sitting Absolutely. in jail in a gulag. Yeah. And we release this and Russian we're releasing uh, arms this, dealer. Yeah. You know, yeah. entitled, spoiled brat that went to a foreign country and broke a law. Yeah. You see the irony here, yep. right? They contextualize those who committed an act of terrorism against the United States government as Americans. They do not provide that same contextualization for Brittany Griner. You know, yeah, for, uh, I'll stop there for a second as well, too. Yeah, you get these right-wingers, these mega uh, American pro-Trump supporters as well. You know, the people that roll around with Antifa and Proud Boys. They're going around thinking, oh, it was okay for these people to riot the Capitol, smash things, you know, try to breach the, you know, thing, breach, you know, breach the Capitol as well. Think, oh, yeah, they get a pass. Oh, yeah. But people want to rail about Brittany Griner getting released for an arms dealer, and people were bit, uh, complaining like, "Yeah, that the other guy who who did who, you know, who didn't." If I remember correctly, at one time Biden wanted he wanted a swap for both of them, not just Grinder, but for Paul Whelan as well. He tried, but we know how Vladimir Putin is. Yeah, he's 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 just he's just a political bigot. He's a jackass. He's an asset. He's an asset. He's trying to make a name for himself and Russia because uh, Russia would demise in the fall, especially when Chernobyl went down the shit in 86 and how uh, you are Russia, it was not even much of a country. I mean, I hear reports, you go to Russia, people are like, you don't, they look all like, like they're all look down and like they won't talk to you because yeah, I mean, it's like, it's dictatorship up in there. That's how bad, much it is as well. I mean, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Before I get lose track, let me get back on track what I was talking about. Remember when uh, Ashley Babbitt got shot by some guy called, uh, I think his name was Paul Burr, but I know the last name was Burr. Mr. Burr shot Brittany, uh, not Br uh, Ashley Babbitt with his uh, service pistol. Yeah, and she didn't die on the scene. No, she eventually bled it out. And people were calling for, you know, oh, he needs to be charged, he needs to be executed, he needs to be charged with murder. And the guy was vindicated, he exonerated. They say he was he is right to do so, defending the Capitol and the breach of the of the doors like that. And all the right wing is all these main, all these Trump supporters like that. Oh no 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 he needs to be charged. I mean the poor guy was getting death threats, death threats, or because he shot and ultimately killed Ashley Babbitt, a, tr a mega big time Trump supporter. Let's get back to it. It is as if Brittany Griner is not an American citizen. That's what they're trying to based say. Based on 
their commentary. You know why they're not, they're not saying as well? Because they're saying like, oh, because Brittany Griner, when she's one of the many athletes at the time, when people were, were fighting for socialism, you know, and and about raising awareness about, you know, bad cops, or like, you know, uh, the George Floyd, the Breonna Taylor incident, and, and, and a few other. People were taking a knee, like I said, we need to fight, we, we make things right. She was one of those people, you know, like when Colin Kaepernick did it back in the days, and other, you know, and other uh, ag- uh, athletes like that. I mean, you got right wingers like say, oh, these need, oh, they need to just shut up and play the sport. No, it's called, it's called a bigger message. It's about socialism. It's about debate and patriotism. They also decided to speak for the family of Mr. Paul. Wayne, yeah, saying that the family obviously is going to be upset, outraged, etc. Well, let's go to the family. Well, if I remember correctly, I heard is the family is, Wayne, is you know the a other businessman. They're not a race. They understand. They're upset, Russia, but they understand. On suspicion of spying, said they were told by the Biden administration in advance that he would not be part of the prisoner swap Thursday that allowed the release of Griner. Whalen's brother, David Whalen, said in a statement that while he can literally only imagine the joy she will have being reunited with her loved ones and in time for the holidays, the inability to also bring Whalen home remains difficult for the family to process. That is an appropriate response. That is an appropriate response. I can understand their disappointment. Yeah, I would Let's too. Let's provide some but they're clarity not irate. as to they're not the differences between the two individuals. Mm-hmm. One, well, Paul Whelan, to be precise. Yeah. He's there, I believe, wrongfully detained, but he's there, maybe caught up in a military dynamic, maybe in a spy dynamic. We do not know for certain. The American government has denied that he's guilty of spying or espionage. And well, that's a serious fan, espionage. Now, here's the other dynamic. Brittany we... Griner had medical prescribed cannabis oil. She goes to Russia, says she forgets to put it out of her bag or take it out of the bag, which is perfectly understandable. Yeah. And then she gets a sentence that literally is 10 times worse than anyone else based on the average in Russia. She becomes a political prisoner of... Yeah. And she becomes a pawn in the scheme of, of Putin. Yeah, she was just a pawn in, in the scheme of things like that. Especially at the time when Putin was going to war with Ukraine and trying to bomb. And he, and he talked about he's going to bomb Switzerland and Poland and other, and other outlining countries of Ukraine. Killing thousand people, even innocent children and innocent people in Ukraine. Because he's a political jackass. That's what he is. <clears throat> Hey, like I said, Brittany Griner was, char- you know, she got wor- she got a worse sentence. I mean, do you think anybody would get charged in this country for over here in the United States for cannabis for nine years? No. Like I said, you get fucking rapists, child molesters, thieves, people who steal cars, people who assault people like that, or, vi- or manslaughter, attempted murder. We get less than nine years. Yeah. War caught up in a conflict that she has absolutely nothing to do with. There was a time in this country where an American being released as a prisoner of war would have been celebrated universally by those on the left, right, middle, those who are apathetic to politics at all. That time, that day is no more. But for today, we will remember this picture of a very happy wife who says she's thrilled to have Brittany back home. All right. Uh, Jackson, what are your thoughts here? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but at, at one point, um, I believe Republican commentators, or at least a handful of them, were criticizing the Biden administration for not having her home yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, this that. was going to be a lose-lose situation in terms of that political argument regardless. Um, but, you know, you pointed it out just right. Uh, Brittany Griner, um, you know, she was a political prisoner from the jump. Russia's not in a very good position uh, with much of the world right now. And <laughs> yep. countries always need leverage. And especially when their backs are against the wall, that's all she ever was. She was a pawn. She was just leverage. So it's definitely good that we were able to get her back um, because it could have gone much worse and she could have been there perpetually. But, you know, again, it's like 
okay, well, it, it should get our, I guess we should be able to bring everybody home at once. Um, you know, again, so there was going to be criticism on that regardless. Um, and I believe I also saw some uh, commentators saying that, you know, oh, he, that he's got the January Sixers in jail. You know, and it's like, oh, they're not entitled, but Brittany Griner is. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it's just... It's, Think it, about it, the irony. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it's just these people are, are ridiculous. And like I said earlier, uh, before the show came on, what are you going to do with these people besides beat them? You know, so... Yeah, and the irony is extreme. They will provide an excuse and immunity to those that committed an act of terrorism. They will say, well, these individuals are not really responsible for their actions. These are patriots who got excited. And then when it comes to someone who commits no violence whatsoever, no, no. has a small amount of cannabis oil uh, and has a prescription for said oil, she gets caught in a foreign country and then becomes part of this insane political dynamic. Well, she needs to stay there forever. Uh, there's a problem with her grace but it would not be a problem if that grace was allocated to terrorists. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. I, mean, I and I've heard of like people going around and saying, yeah, I said, oh, I can't believe we're doing a prisoner swap, you know, for, for a, a female who played basketball versus a guy, it's a Russian arms dealer. Yeah, the dealer of death. Yeah, but that arm dealer of death is nothing but a crooked loser. He's always has and always will be. He's, I mean, everybody looks like, like, what is like that? This female basketball player, Brittany Griner, is a hero. You have little girls looking up to her as a role model, not just her. I mean, he likes a Brianna Stewart, Diana Taurasi with Sue Bird. Oh, yeah. I mean, little girls want to be just like her. They're like, I can play basketball, too. That's why, that's why I always embrace the power of women in sports. Then you got these political butt monkey junkies and... Tufa Tufa land and the PDF Peter the Fence Boards, yeah. That ray um piss on me because I showcase women playing volleyball, gymnastics, or something maybe a little bit of basketball, or especially softball. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of here, my job, peace out.